disclaimer before you watch this. There's a lot of dogger jokes than usual, so if you're easily offended, please don't watch. Especially not towards the end. Thank you. The downfall of Romeo Lacoste continues as more and more influencers speak out about the situation. This guy did try to spin this as if he was a victim in some way. He is the adult, he is the content creator, he is the uh, person of influence, and it does appear that he is abusing his platform for very, very, very devious and wrong reasons. If you think someone is underage, you should not be, pro you know, asking them for anything sexual related whatsoever. There's absolutely no reason at all for anyone to feel sorry for this man. I didn't know they were just 14. Tell it to the cops. Romeo Lacoste had the police at his tattoo shop. Oh, speak again, bright angel. Oh, Romeo, Romeo. Romeo. Probably seducing an underage girl. It's been that type of week. FBI, open up! Cam Kirkham, baby! What's up, dipstick? So somehow, if you haven't heard of Romeo Lacoste, he has a quick rundown for you. He's a 30-year-old Canadian tattoo artist with 1 million subscribers and is most famous for tattooing icons such as Ariana Grande, Justin Bieber, Jake Mitchell, you know, all the greats. But unfortunately for Romeo, he couldn't say thank you next to the little bit of controversy that's been thrusted upon him. And what better way is there to describe controversy than through an overused meme? Literally, nobody ever. Romeo Lacoste. Then tell me. Tell me how you try and be slutty. I'm sure you can and will one day. But I like hearing. See, if it was me, I'd probably get you a little bit drunk first. I'd have one ready for you as soon as you get here. And that's hot. I love that. Oh, Jesus Christ, me never next door, but I can read this. Love that. Love my balls massaged and sucked on. Love my arsehole licked. And my fave is deep throat. Drunk girls always deep throat further. Ha <laughs> yep. I'd have a shot waiting for you when you got here. You can even chase my cum down with another shot. Oh, I'm freaky. I can even come in your shot and let you drink both together. By the time you leave, you'll have a tummy full of cum and alcohol. Ha <laughs> I bet you get super slutty when you're drunk. Jesus Christ, that is honestly terrible. He also added, and I quote, There's Big, and then there's Romeo Big. Ah, not again. So yeah, probably not the first name on your babysitter list. However, if you're from the Lacoste family and you've got a family gathering coming up, I'm here to help. Just put the kids in a, in a room where you know where they are and leave the door open. Uh, go for your food, go and get a, a little buffet and just come back in 20 minutes. As long as you're not in Portugal, obviously, because we all know how that ended up. Oh, for Ainsley Harriet Hell. I just got this done as well. Now I'm gonna end up on a show with Charlotte Crosby. Curse those gentle ballpoint needles. <laughs> and I think that... Wait. I'm, I'm hearing breaking news that R Romeo Lacoste has uploaded a video at 20 weird facts about me where he apparently reveals why he wanted to get them drunk beforehand. It's painless, faster, and also it's obviously a lot less obvious. In what age group that he really wants to seduce? Five. Jesus Christ! I wonder how many kids he's done it with. Seven kids. Two girls and four boys. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't think about it. Fuck me. He's forward, isn't he? To be fair to Romeo Lacoste, I believe that he's a simple man. He lives his life by one motto. Famous tattooist in the streets, getting underage girls pissed in the sheets. Can you imagine for a second, though, that you've went through all the education, the years of college, probably an apprenticeship, working as an understudy, just to get to the position where he got in his career? Just to have to tattoo Lee Hinchcliffe. No wonder he turned his intentions elsewhere. No, you can't get an 11 degrees tattoo, Lee. That's almost as bad as starting YouTube with KSI, and then 10 years later, you still have to put his name in the title. Now onto the messages that he... What is it? Piss off. Romeo Lacoste wants to perform a song for we Before we talk about the messages. <sighs> this is a song for the type of girls that I love out there. You know who you are. I 
I've been sitting on my bum tattooing for eight hours straight When I get home we're going on a date Gonna get you drunk on lots of beer Then you're gonna lie down with your face over here You're gonna lick my ethyl Lick it up so it's nice and clean I don't care if you're an underage teen Then after that I want my face in your belly I'm gonna come in it You'll shut it down even though it's smelly Otherwise I'll piss on you just like R. Kelly Now you're going home with a belly full of cum Please I beg don't tell your mum Unless she needs somebody to babysit Oh wait, come back, you forgot to deep throat it <laughs> Right, being honest for a second Obviously the messages that Romeo sent aren't just out of order They're absolutely sickening The fact that he wanted to get an underage girl drunk before they performed sexual acts is fucking disturbing me I honestly couldn't believe it when it came out that he was 25 actually going out with a 14 year old a fucking 14 year old But innocent, until proven guilty he went on another suspect character's channel to clear his name. Ladies and gentlemen, we have Romeo on the line. People giving me attention on social media and, and, and sort of like girls being flirty and throwing themselves at me. And honestly, like I didn't really understand the whole like Twitter community. I didn't understand the Twitter community. Like what? You guys aren't pedophiles? What the fuck? There's a whole host of kids out there. You're missing out. Me and MJ have been running the game for years. You fools. I didn't even realize that she apparently was, you know, if if it's even true that she was that that young. Right, just to play devil's advocate here. Not that we should. I know I realize that, but just so we can kind of see it from his point of view. Now, I know a lot of age demographics message me and message my friends who do YouTube, but that is no excuse to send them sexual messages such as this. Romeo, I've got some advice for you if you're feeling a little bit frisky, mate. Just have a wank. Solves everything. Preferably not over the kids, you know, because uh, that would be a problem. I am very well respected in this community. I've tattooed every YouTuber from across the fucking map all the way to, you know, Kodak Black, rappers, That's Juice true. World. <laughs> oh, God. This is probably my favorite part of the interview. The only person that he could name drop to try and give him some credibility that he's a nice guy was Kodak Black, which is a man on trial for sexual assault. <laughs> <laughs> you thick twat. Yeah? Well, I'm mate with Kodak Black, and he rapes them. So who's the bad guy now? That's right, you've brought shame amongst your channel, you silly little gnome. You guys are comparing, you know, like, stuff from 2016 to surfacing now. Like, how many of you guys were different three years ago? To be fair, he is right. I was different three years ago. But I wasn't a fucking pedophile. I was 17, spending me whole summer on the giant map on Call of Duty Black Ops. If anything, a message from you would probably be the most action I'd had in 17 years. I lived in her house. I moved in with her house. Her parents were completely cool with it. We slept in completely separate be separate bedrooms. Um, she said you I peed on her. Sorry, what? Um, she said you I peed on her. Well, I can't help you anymore, mate. Fuck this video. Mate, this is some R. Kelly type shit. Pissing on underage girls. To be fair, you know, she was very young at the time. She might have just wet the bed. I'm throwing it out there. Give her a break. She's just got out of Pambas. And what's the one sponsored video that you do when you claim to not know people's ages? Guess the rage with famous birthdays. She's on fire. I mean, this isn't even funny. This guy's like the YouTube Jimmy Savile. He's got all what on strings. Famous birthdays and I'm playing Guess Their Age. Three songs. Oh. Ah, the old Trey song says 28 maneuver. I'm not falling for it. Pedo, fucking pedo. Wait, how many days old is this video? 12th. That's a bit old for him. Ladies and gentlemen, we have Romeo on the line. Uh, Romeo, you have some serious allegations against you. Um, are you guilty of these things? Hey guys, uh, welcome back to my Instagram story. I just kind of want to address the controversy that surrounds my name at the minute. I had to deactivate my Twitter because all the trolls. Do you know all those photos that got posted? Fabricated. They're all full of lies. 
I promise you, I didn't do anything with no kids. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Of course I sent those girls home with a belly full of cum. Are you stupid? I love getting little underage girls drunk and then getting my asshole licked. When I sit in my tattoo parlor, I could clean the stool with how clean my ass is. Oh my god, I was a good perv too. I got those girls drunk so they wouldn't remember a thing. The problems they have for the rest of their lives are more permanent than the ink that I use in my tattoos. All right, see you later, guys. He's got a heart of bloody gold. That lad. So before Romeo Lacoste captures you, press subscribe to my channel so that if he does eventually get you, your legacy lives on through my subscribe account. Press the like button if you can be asked because it really does help my self esteem. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Here's the shout out for the video. If you want to shout out, all you need to do go on me Twitter, retweet me tweet, or go on me Instagram and comment your Mars your on this photo. And that's it. Everybody, I hope you have a lovely night, except for Mr. Lacoste. <laughs> Wait, wait, wait. Quick, before I go, Shane Dawson, quick message for you. A pussy is a pussy.